Hello, I'm JW. This time I'm going to have a look at the wiring regulations. Now this is the 18th edition which came out in 2018. Earlier this year, which is 2020, there was an Amendment 1. That wasn't a whole new book, in fact it wasn't a book at all, it was just a few pages which basically replaced section 722 which covers electrical vehicle charging. And uh, just today, which is May 2020, a corrigendum has been issued because the thing that was issued a few months ago contained a number of obvious mistakes. So a correction that has been published. So we're going to have a look at that and see what the mistakes actually were. Now this is the same deal as the previous one that you can download it for free from the IET website. Link to that in the description to this video. And uh, if you want to buy the one it's actually £5. The only difference being that the uh, £5 one you can print out and the non-£5 or the free one basically is not for printing out. So uh, same deal there. And if you've already paid the £5 for the version a few months ago, then you can get a free replacement uh, without having to pay the £5 again. So uh, that's uh, the deal there. So have a look at what those mistakes were and uh, whether this actually changes anything. So let's have a look at this then. Now we're going to use the uh, not for printing one because that's what you would normally view on screen. Let's say you can always buy that £5 one if you want to print it out, but uh, let's face it these days I don't imagine many people are going to be doing that. So uh, have a look here. We've got the uh, document here. Now it's only six pages, as it says at the top there, bearing in mind that the page numbers in the document refer to the original thing which was published a few months ago. So not all the pages are in here because obviously not all the pages have corrections. So if we just uh, zoom in there we'll see it in full size. So um, top right here then we've got Amendment 1 2020 and of course uh, Corrigenda May 2020 which is basically correcting the thing that came out earlier and all that belongs obviously with the original Thing that came out in 2018 which in itself had a corrigendum as well because there was mistakes in that as well so it's just uh, mistakes piling on top of other mistakes really so anyway just uh, scroll down here and got that do not print thing on this uh, particular one so here's a summary of the corrections uh, eight of them there and uh, some of them aren't particularly relevant like changes to the index so uh, have a quick look at those anyway and as it says here the corrections are shown in red on the following pages. So anything else that's black, which is most of it, is exactly the same as it was a few months back. So it's just the red bits that we're really interested in here. Now, just scroll down here, and the first thing we're going to get here is in the middle here. So it now says C note 5, and this is from section 3 onwards. So 3, 4, and 5. Note 5, note 5, and note 5. Now, previously, Note 5 did exist and it was in there and it's all crossed out now. All that's happened is that the Note 5 text has been removed from this and it's been put down here instead. The text itself is exactly the same, so the only difference is that before Note 5 appeared to only apply to this uh, item 5 here. However now Note 5 also applies to 3 and 4 and of course 5 anyway. Now what this section is, is the one where you've got a PME earthing facility, which is by far the most common in most properties now, and this is one of the five things that you can use if you wish to use that as the earthing connection. And of course the other choice is to put in a TT installation and so on, which has its own problems as well. So the three things of relevance here are the one where you've got that allegedly called unicorn device, where it's measuring the voltage between the uh, protective earth itself and the earth outside, and then the voltage is over 70 volts. The other one is where you've got another kind of device which detects the voltage, and if it's between the normal ratings it's fine. If it goes above 253 or below 207 then it will disconnect, and some manufacturers already make those. And then number five is some other unknown device or devices which may or may not uh, do various things. So all that's changed is that Note 5 now applies to all of those instead of just the last one. Now what Note 5 basically says is that, uh, as it said before, the S7701 does not deal with the safety requirements for the construction of electrical equipment. And basically this comes down to if you're going to use devices provided by manufacturers, whether it's in any of those things described above, then you need to make sure that it complies and satisfies the safety objectives as there of the relevant directives. So the key point is that that now applies to all three. So if you are going to be buying a charging unit and it is going to use one or more of these items, which let's face it most of them probably will, you need to confirm with the manufacturer that it does comply with the various directives and basically is it CE marked. If it is, well that should be okay, but you won't want to get from the manufacturer the details of exactly how it complies with these directives. 
if you've bought a charging equipment and it's not CE marked, well, I suggest you return it from whence it came and uh, do not install it. So that has made a moderately significant difference. However, in reality, you should be checking these things anyhow. You don't want to be going down to the uh, usual Shenzhen market or something and buying some random piece of equipment which uh, may or may not work and just installing it and hoping all is well because pretty obviously that's a pretty shabby thing to do. So although it does change what's happening, in reality it doesn't actually change a whole lot because it's basically what you should be doing anyway. Now if you scroll on here there's not a lot of else's changes. This one here has been altered 72511101. Now the wording here has been crossed out and some other wording has been put in, but if you actually look at it, the wording that's crossed out and the wording that's written in is exactly the same. All that's changed here is that uh, before it was in bold text and now it isn't. And the only reason for this is that bold text indicates some kind of heading, such as underneath how you've got uh, external influences and so on. That particular piece which has been changed is not a heading, so previously it was wrongly in bold and now it's not. So that's it. In terms of meaning, well, it's exactly the same, isn't it? Now, I've moved down a bit further. 72512 Impact. Equipment installed in public areas and car park sites shall be protected against mechanical damage. Impact of, and it used to say medium severity, AG3. AG3 is actually high severity. So it said AG3 anyway, and it was still AG3 now, but AG3, of course, is high severity, and it said medium before. Now this isn't likely to affect much either because if you've already installed a load of stuff in a car park or somewhere like that, then of course it's going to have mechanical protection anyway against cars driving into the charging pillar and whatever else. And it's pretty likely that those were going to be of the right type anyway. If for some reason you've installed one and you only put in something which was of a medium severity, then you'll need to go back and change it. But highly unlikely because barriers to stop cars are fairly robust and substantial items. And even if you hadn't read this regulation, Common sense implies that if you're going to put a charging unit in a car park or somewhere on a parking area, you need to put a barrier in so that cars don't uh, clobber into the charging unit and bust it off of its fixings. So, fairly minor change that doesn't really affect a whole lot. Now, in the annex here, we've got this equation which has been crossed out mainly because it was wrong, and the correct equation has now been put in. So. If you had used this equation before, this could be a problem because, of course, you've used the wrong thing and now the correct thing has been put in. However, have a look at what this actually applies to. It's to do with a neutral current in a three-phase installation, and this is where you're using, again, one of these three things up here. And it's the number one, where the charging point is part of a three-phase installation that supplies loads other than for electric vehicle charging, and because of the characteristics of it, the maximum voltage between the main earthing terminal and earth doesn't exceed 70 volts. So this is a three-phase installation with all kinds of stuff attached to it, which inexplicably is also nearly balanced or perfectly balanced all of the time. It will never be unbalanced to such an extent that the neutral current exceeds a certain value, and therefore you can install it and uh, not bother with any of the other things. Now, in theory, that might exist, but in reality there are no installations like that. Nobody is going to actually install that because any kind of installation that's three-phase First of all, it rules out most of the typical installations anyway. And even if you've got one, the likelihood of all the loads being balanced all the time due to the nature of the loads installed is pretty much zero. So if you're one of those people that inexplicably use that and use this equation as well, then you've got a problem. You need to go and check it again. But in reality, nobody used that and nobody really cares. So although it was wrong, it's not actually a huge deal. You could say that it's such an unlikely and implausible situation. The rest of that was okay. And then the only other changes are a couple of minor things where they put the wrong number in. So 7224114 is actually 7224141. So uh, not really a big problem there. And then in the index, again, a couple of numbers were wrong. So the 101 there was obviously uh, completely wrong. And over here as well, again, it was the wrong number. It was uh, 55 instead of 55172. And 72 was actually this supply the fixed installation by the electric vehicle and that's been put in as an additional item and that is basically it. So of the uh, changes here then nothing really has actually changed. So note 5 applies equally to 3, 4 and 5 and should not be indented on 5. Well whatever that's about the uh, complying with various uh, directives and CE marking and so on. The text should not be bold. Well now it isn't but the text is exactly the same. Impact severity AG3 should be high and now it is. 
medium before, but that won't change a whole lot either. If you use the equation, well, it's wrong and you need to do it again, but so in reality no one is going to have used that because that's such an implausible and unlikely situation anyway. And then the final ones there, basically just some wrong numbers people put in and the index was incorrect as well with, again, some additional wrong numbers. So not a whole pile of stuff. And uh, in reality, we're basically looking at exactly the same thing. It's not going to change a whole lot and uh, say it's really just a load of mistakes which uh, shouldn't have happened in the first place. But in terms of if you've done any installations to this, it won't actually affect those or it's really exceptionally unlikely. Now, so you can get this for free. It's on the IET website. Link to that in the description to this video. And it's free to download if you want this uh, not for printing version. If you want the other one, which uh, you can print, then that is £5. However, the content in each is exactly the same. And if you've already paid for the £5 printing one before, you can get a free replacement, so you don't have to pay for the £5 again. So obviously that's the thing as well. But uh, that's it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.